Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take you all through a hypotenuse leg triangle proof. So we have given PR is perpendicular to SQ and PQ is congruent to PS. We want to prove that the two triangles in this diagram here are congruent. Now the first thing I would recommend doing is when you read the givens, translate it onto the diagram. So if PR is perpendicular to SQ, that means that we have two right angles here at this location at, you know, at the intersection at point R. And for the second part of the givens, we have PQ is congruent to PS. So we could mark off these two line segments here as congruent. Now the last thing that we could observe is that these two triangles share a common side. So usually we mark that off with an X. So this tells us that our strategy to prove these two triangles congruent is to use hypotenuse leg. But I highly recommend that you do all the markings on the diagram first before you start proving anything. That way you know what you have to say to complete this proof. So the first thing you could say is the givens. That's the easiest statement to make. And there's usually no points awarded for just stating the givens. And the reason for why they're true is it was given to you. But now the second thing we can say is that since these lines, PR and SQ, are perpendicular, we could immediately say that angle PRQ and angle PRS are right angles. And the reason for that just comes from the definition of perpendicular, that perpendicular lines form right angles. Now this next statement coming up is one of the most crucial statements you need to make. And it is that you have to define both of these triangles as right triangles. Uh, the reason that why this is true is that a triangle with the right angle is a right triangle. But the reason why, uh, and I'll start this, this is one of the more important statements, is because the hypotenuse leg postulate only works for right triangles. So you have to make sure that you're establishing that both of your triangles involved are actually right triangles. Now for the next part of this, we can state that PR is congruent to PR because these two triangles share a common side, and this is true by the reflexive property. Now, at this stage of the question, we are ready to prove or to complete the proof by establishing the proof statement. Uh, because notice we have PQ is congruent to PS, that was the hypotenuse part of this postulate, and PR congruent to PR represents the leg part here. So we are done. So. Once again, a common mistake that I've seen in these questions is that instead of saying statement three, students will say something like PRQ is congruent to angle PRS because all right angles are congruent. You don't have to establish any pairs of congruent angles when you're using hypotenuse leg, but you absolutely have to establish the triangles as right triangles. So then the last statement, the, true, the two triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse leg postulate. Okay, well, this is going to conclude this hypotenuse leg proof. If you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe below. And if you have any requests, please leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.